they want him to be happy. And I do think it is this very unusual family that has been living together and it's it's been going okay, but I think they all know that there's room for sort of improvement and they're quite happy to get outside the walls of the manor as well. The great thing with Doolittle is that he is very eccentric, um, but you know, so is Sherlock and Tony and all that. But there is a part of him that is incredibly compassionate as well, because he does have these animals that he cares a lot about. And he does have a, a, a very scarring loss that he is carrying with him through this whole movie, that he's trying to find a way to reconcile. It was a blast working with Antonio. I mean, he was he was so committed um, to bringing this crazy king to the screen. Um, we gave him a look where it's it's really kind of fun. I mean, it's written as a pirate king, but we wanted to do it in a way that felt fresh. Not you know, obviously pirates have been done very well on screen um, in these type of movies, and so he just brought uh, sort of a whole other level of fun to it, and um, really went for it. But what one of the other great things with Rasuli is other than having a real beef against Doolittle, um, there's a lot of emotion behind what his issues are. And so you needed an actor who could give you both, who could play up the fun of this role and really enjoy it, who could bring some menace, because um, he is dangerous to Doolittle, who you believed would rule an entire like pirate island where animals and people live amongst each other equally. Um, and then at the end of the day, you, you know, had, had an emotional side to him that you would also understand why he is the way he is. And he, he was incredible. He was super committed and just a lot of fun to, to play with. It was also very important to us that each of the animals had distinguishing characteristics. So if we have our, our parrot or we have our dog or we have our polar bear, it doesn't look like every other animal that would be, you know, in a zoo or on a, you know, shelf as a stuffy like in at the store or something. We wanted them to have their own personality, but we also wanted to understand why were they with Doolittle. That was equally as important. You know, they were all there for some reason. And a lot of it was physical, but some of it was he was helping them, you know, more emotionally or mentally. Uh, his doctoring is, is not just, you know, making sure that, again, the dog has glasses or the polar bear has the right hat to keep him uh, warm, but it's also helping them, you know, emotionally, whether it is Chi-Chi finding a way to be brave or Plimpton getting out of his own neurotic head and, and not being so negative about everything.